Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, welcome to my new subscribers all over the globe. Um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting like. Uh, sometimes um, I, I got a couple of emails and DMs um, stating that I'm not returning back um, the subscription or whatever and I just wanted to say that if you don't watch the whole video YouTube lets makes it go to spam so you know whenever I go to anyone's channel um, I watch the whole video it's just something it's that's the type of person I am um, and I just find everything interests me I can learn um, I like to learn all different cultures and I like to um, see how other people are living and cooking and fishing and everything so um if that's happening um and i rarely check the spam i probably should but uh please just you know hit like hit subscribe and watch the whole video and i'll do it to you too but anyway that's irrelevant because this channel is regarding important things and i hope that everybody um you know, it, it views it like that because I really put my heart and soul into it. Today, I wanted to talk about something that, you know, it's again, it's about the Black Lives Matter, which they do. Um, okay, so let's get right into it. First of all, Meek Mill has a song, uh, Other Side of America, regarding rioting and Black Lives Matter. Machine Gun Kelly called Killing It the name of rage against uh, Black Lives Matter and, um, you know, um, looting and all of that. Uh, Trey Songs, 2020 Riots, and Day Day, Black Lives Matter. Dax, Black Lives Matter. Um... Pooh Shiesty, uh, again, about Black Lives Matter and rioting. Where am I going with this? Why am I bringing this up? Okay, first of all, brothers and sisters, you know, I know things go faster in this day and age than they did back when, um, but it takes time to make, stay with me here now, it takes time to make a video to first let's back up to write the song to do everything regarding the song and then to shoot the video on it okay you ha you have to sh first shoot a promo video you have to record scenes be be behind the scenes footage commission single artwork and so on and so forth so what am i saying i'm saying it's very ironic that mr george floyd may he rest in peace, passed away on May 20th, okay? We're in, uh, today is June the 10th. These, all these rappers that I mentioned, and I'll mention them again, Day Day, Dax, Meek Mill, Machine Gun Kelly, um, Trey Songs, and Pooh Shiesty, just to name a few, all have videos regarding what happened to Mr. George Floyd. May he rest in peace. Now, there, some of their videos were came out a day, the next day, two days later. So, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say, I'm not trying to say anything, I'm going to say it, that this is wrong because it doesn't add up. I always say if two plus two doesn't add up to four, it's not true. And this isn't adding up, okay? It, first we have the situation that we're in, you know, that we all have to be in the house. And now this, all around um, election time, then you know, these checks they're sending us, which everybody's excited about, but quite frankly, don't you want to get back to, to your lives? And the bottom line is, there's no way that 
they, these people could have, these rappers could have made these songs in a day, in two days, and they're all coming out back to back. Like I said, some right after the man's death. And so what am I saying about this? I'm saying that something's not right, brothers and sisters. Something's wrong, okay? This has, I believe that they, that this has all been planned. I believe it's all been planned, just like everything else. We, the government is not transparent with us. We are not a free country anymore. We all have to stick together, all of us. And, and and come together in the name of God and, you know, be ready and be prepared because something's coming worse than this. Something's ahead. It, and prophecy shows it. If you're not, a, if you're not a, a believer in God and you just have common sense, use it. But please, I... I urge everybody to give their lives over to to God because that's the only way you're going to get through anything and he's for us not against us and um there's only two religions two religions there's following God and his son Jesus Christ which are one the father and the son are one Jesus is God in the flesh or there's following Satan those are the two religions. And following God and, and his son, Jesus Christ, which is, again, Jesus is God in the flesh, they're one. Following him and all his commandments and obeying and being obedient. Because we do have, we should, the only thing we should fear is God. So don't take that walk flippantly. Don't take that walk for granted. Don't believe these false teachers out there that are saying, you know, just believe and go on with your life and you're sealed forever. <laughs> Don't take that seriously. Don't take that for granted. Because if that were so, there would be no, everybody would go to heaven. Everybody would go to heaven. There is an elect. There is God does test his children. Look at Job. God has a reason for everything he does. And we have a jealous God. And if you are love your bank account and love your money, then you hate God. If you love your life and you love how you live and you want your cars back and you want the big houses, then you hate God. Because God... God says, if you love the world, you hate him. If you hate him, then you love the world. If you love the world, you hate him. If you love him, then you hate the world. And being all this that's going on, unfortunately, a man had to die. Like I said, and, and, and in March, a young, black, beautiful woman, a couple, they just bashed into their apartment because they, they have this no, um, uh, no knock search warrant now that if there's any suspicion, they could just go in anybody's house and just search it. And it happened to a lady on YouTube. She was, she was live. And then she saw on her cameras, all these SWAT teams. She thought, thought it was a joke. And no, they bashed in her door because somebody called and said they they had suspicion that she was doing something or holding a child in there or something like that. And these are true facts. And that's what our world is coming to. And that's why we have to stick together under God. And we have to use our, 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 our knowledge from God. We have to be wise. We have to be ahead of the game. And how do you be ahead of the game? You notice when something's not right, and this isn't right. Something's wrong here. All these videos, because that's what Satan does. Nobody, you know, many believe me, and many many are on the fence, and many don't believe me. And, and, and you know, I can't make someone's mind go the right way. Only God can, just like only God could save a person. People can't save people. So what I'm saying is, is that it's awful ironic that 
first we have you know the lockdowns and now we have this gentleman that was killed and they're dividing us they're always dividing us and we know who they are the suits with the deep pockets and they're not for us okay and they're allowing these protests and what happened whatever happened to the six feet uh social distance distancing um they haven't found a cure yet people are out and about and then and then you look and you read and they say oh it's going to come back worse we're going to it's something else is brewing and 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 people have to be careful and that's why we're sending out second checks because you know this time around it's going to be worse well how do they know that okay brothers and sisters please wake up Please don't divide each other. All we have, we are the people. We, the people of this world, God's children, have to stick together. And the handwriting is on the wall with these rappers because they are owned and operated by Satan. Hollywood is owned and operated by Satan. When you become a movie star or a singer and you're famous and you're at that high elite like like uh, Jay Z, like Beyonce, like all of them. That all they are are spokespersons to dumb us down, to make because Satan knows the Bible better than us, and he knows that God is a jealous God, and we're not supposed to idolize anybody, and that's a form of idolizing people. Uh, you know, oh, I love you. Oh, I want to be like you. No, be you're beautiful the way you are. You're handsome the way you are. No matter your skin color, that makes you beautiful. No matter your voice, no matter your hair, no matter your eyes, no matter your height, no matter your weight, no matter anything, your clay maker, God, made you beautiful the way you are. We're, we can't all look alike that look that's ridiculous then that's cloning and, and 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 we should all be in the movie the stepford wives come on everybody these rappers look them up the words the lyrics i was gonna say them on here i couldn't even my discernment and my holy spirit got nauseous i'm telling you brothers and sisters wake up america wake up world it's impossible. This is all a plan. And if you don't turn your life over to God now and hold on to him and, and ask for his knowledge, his wisdom, it's not going to look good. It's not, it's not going well. Don't, don't stick your head in the sand and don't walk around like this is 1988 and nothing's going on. Because there's a lot going on and there's a lot coming. And I implore everybody to read the word of God and truly realize that when you walk the walk with, the, with Father, Abba, Yahweh, one God, you have to obey him, follow his commandments, follow all his commandments and obey I'm, this is ridiculous and sickening that they're, and the, they're, you know, in the end times, it says many will fall away, the grave falling away, and false teachers and false prophets, and that's what that one saved, always saved is. I'm not calling out anyone's names. I'm not being mean, but I'm telling you right now, there's no such thing. No such thing. It's not biblical. If you read the word of God, you're supposed to read it. And accept it for what it says, not say, oh, it means this. And just pick and cherry pick Bible verses. These people don't know what they're talking about. They're in a delusion, a huge delusion. And they're leading thousands with them to hell. And people don't like to hear this because they love their sin. When the Father, God, says we must stay away from sin. We must be spotless and blameless. And yes, brothers and sisters, when you have the Holy Spirit inside of you and, 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 and you walk with the Lord God Almighty, you don't want to sin. You will be tempted because Satan will be at you more. But these things won't happen to you. These, these, um, and I'm going to make videos about it, um, these, um, 
sleep, sleep paralysis, uh, dreams that that frighten you. If you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, that does not happen to you. Never. Watch who you follow. Not all could be leaders, brothers and sisters, but I'll leave you with this. Not all could be leaders, but be careful who you follow. Follow God and his true word and investigate the King James Version. Go into the strong concordance. Go into the Greek. Go into the Hebrew. Because all you need to worry about is not hurting somebody's feelings, but where you're going to end up. You could be, you're going to, believing in that once saved, always saved, is taking you down that wide road. That's why the, the Father says over and over and over in His Word, Wide the road to hell and narrow the gate to, for heaven. That's why he says, I'm coming to fulfill my laws, not abolish them. That's why everything in the word of God tells you iniquity, iniquity. It will bring you down. It will cause you to go to hell. Many will come to me on that day and say, but I said this, I said that in your name. And no, I don't know you, 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 you workers of iniquity. And let me go one step further. And I'm going to make a video about this. Faith, okay, is a verb used in the Word of God because you have to work your faith. When you hit hard times like I've hit, and I'm only, I'm not playing the victim, I'm using myself as an example because I can't, how could I use uh, Joe next door as an example? I don't know his life, but I know my life, okay? I know that. I've hit huge homelessness, no money, no car, no food, and I had to put my faith into work and stick to, to God the Father and know that He is God and He and He and He has me. And I never ever ever sway because I was born with the gift of faith. But you could you could anybody could fall away. You have to put that to work. Just like your marriages, just like your relationships. You don't just get married and think, oh, that's it. No, you have to work at it. So how much more do you have to work at your relationship with God the Father? I love you all, brothers and sisters. Please, I implore you, I'm praying for all of you. Stay away from these false teachers. Reevaluate your walk with God. I, the only difference is I'm just telling you to obey God. Obey His commandments. Don't say they're gone, that, the, the, that God's laws are a curse, and if you practice them, you'll be cursed. Are you kidding me? That's what He loves. And that's why I'm so blessed and I live such a peaceful life. He pulled me out of the world and by my free will, I'm staying out of it. And I follow every commandment and every law. And yes, I'm tempted, but I say, get behind me, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I sleep like a baby at night. I love you all. Hit the like, hit subscribe, and watch the whole full video because I do it to you. I love you all. All of you have a wonderful day. And I just think all of you are so wonderful and all your videos because I'm so proud that I have so many subscribers from all over the globe. And I just cherish you. Have a wonderful day. And God willing, this little Italian girl will be back. Ciao.